If you're thinking of setting up an AI WhatsApp chatbot for your business but have a few doubts, then this video is just for you. I have built over 24 AI WhatsApp chatbots to figure all this out and in this video, I'm going to share all of it. So this video will serve as a complete guide of all that you need to know about WhatsApp AI chatbots. And trust me, this is the only video that you need to watch. Hello everybody, my name is Yashika Jain. I'm the founder of Automates AI. At Automates AI, we build automated systems for businesses that use the power of AI to save time, money, and efforts. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. In this video, we're gonna talk all about WhatsApp AI chatbots. We're first gonna start with the introduction, then we're gonna look at the key use cases, then the software requirements and the tech stack, then the cost structure and how much you'll have to pay, then the human handoff feature that the business owners love, and finally, um, the operational considerations wrapping off with customization and implementation. Okay, so let's get started with the introduction now. So in introduction, we're going to answer what, where, who, why, how, and the impact. So what? What are WhatsApp AI chatbots? Pretty easy. They are automated chat solutions that use the power of AI. Now, why is automation required? Business owners receive a lot of volume on WhatsApp and they can't afford to miss a lead. And hence, we need automated solutions. Now, where does AI come into play? AI comes into play for personalization. So we don't want to send those fixed messages. Instead, we want a naturally flowing conversation. Okay, so I hope that answers the question next, where? So it is going to be on WhatsApp business platform. Very simple. Next up, who is it for? So it is for every business owner that receives volume on WhatsApp or their customer base exists on WhatsApp. The next question is why? So this is to enhance customer interaction. So let's say a customer responded and just imagine if they could get a response immediately, right? So it is um, very important to respond in less time to enhance the customer interaction rate. Next question, how? So we will be using AI and rule-based workflows. So AI for the personalization and rule-based workflows for defining the triggers, the actions, etc. Lastly, the impact. So the impact is going to be firstly enhancement of customer interaction. Secondly, it would increase engagement as there would be instant replies and then it would overall reduce the cost of responding to a lead. So I hope that gives you a good gist of what WhatsApp AI chatbots are. Next up, let's discuss the key use cases of having a WhatsApp AI chatbot for your business. So the first use case that I see being very popular among business owners is a customer support AI WhatsApp chatbot because it gives instant replies to their customer queries, right? So a customer support AI chatbot would be trained on your company's data it would be trained on your product database, it would be trained on your previous WhatsApp conversations so that it is able to reply to each and every customer query that you receive. Now you might be thinking, what about the real-time queries like where is my order? the order status. Now that is also something that AI can take care of. So it would um, query the API to get the information and send it to the user. So it can talk about products, it can generate tickets, update CRMs and whatnot. So basically a win-win situation for Customer you. Customer support, now let's come to sales. Now automated product suggestions using AI are not so prominent yet, but they are going to be the trends of the future. So let's say a customer bought a product from you 10 days ago and 10 days later, they get a notification with product suggestions that are personalized to their previous purchase. So AI is going to analyze what they bought previously and accordingly match new products for them and send a personalized message. So this is um, like upselling, but it would really increase your customer return rate. Okay, now talking about marketing. So we could send targeted promotions, um, you know, campaigns to the users. Now that is something that is old school, but we could add AI to it. Again, just like this, AI would analyze their previous buying trends, you know, some information about them and accordingly send the promotion messages. And that would really increase the open rate as well as the buying rate as compared to the old school WhatsApp outbound messaging. 
right now coming to scheduling so this is very handy for businesses that do a lot of um scheduling so appointment setting so there could be an ai chatbot that could do this for you so you go a lot of back and forth on what time works for you this doesn't work for me the doctor is not available etc etc but then you could have a whatsapp ai chatbot that can query or maybe you could say look at your calendar and give them the available slots and see which one works for them and then accordingly add an invite to your calendar and also send them an invite right so the next one is going to be feedback so this is something that is um very different from the others but it is crucial so you need to collect customer opinions and instead of sending those um fixed messages with the form link saying that can you um fill in the form you could instead have an ai chatbot do a conversation with the customer doesn't take more than 2 to 5 minutes and it would um go like how did you find your pink dress that you bought 10 days ago and that's how it will collect all the feedback you know ask a couple of questions back and forth and then thank them give them a code coupon code and then add all this information into the crm so that is also a great way to um use whatsapp ai chatbots lastly we have notifications so this could be for timely alerts updates etc etc so if you are a subscription based model that you know um you want to remind your customer to buy every single month then you could send a message saying that your subscription expires in 2 days or maybe 3 days do you want to renew it and here's the link to it how did you find it etc etc so that is what this is so i hope you have a good idea by now that these are um powered with ai no fixed messages we can perform actions like adding to crm checking calendars checking product databases etc etc Okay now let's finally move to the software requirements now though there are a lot of whatsapp platforms that you could use but um i personally prefer manychat for this as it has amazing workflow capabilities and we can easily connect to ai as well so manychat is mainly for instagram but i really like its whatsapp channel as well you could go with any other um whatsapp builder but since i have not used them i cannot recommend them i've used manychat for all the whatsapp chatbots that i have built so far and it is working amazingly okay so for the workflows we're going to use manychat and then for ai capabilities we're going to use open ai api so they have their assistance api that we could use and you know they keep rolling out gpt models that um can really supercharge this progress but um you could also go with the other llms if you want to go with claude if you want to go with gemini it's up to you okay now talking about the trigger and the event based responses that many chat offers so this is an image of um a whatsapp ai chatbot that i built out for a client so if you see this arrow it is the trigger so this is a trigger so it could be when someone sends you a message on whatsapp or it could be when someone sends you a keyword on whatsapp or um you know it has a ton of triggers you could go through it then these are basically actions so if you can see the whatsapp icon right here so yeah these are actions that are sending messages sending buttons etc etc now if you look at the yellow blocks then these are api calls to open ai right so we're not using many chats um inbuilt ai capabilities instead we're making api calls to open ai directly and then getting the response you know formatting it and then showing it to the user So I hope um this looks good to you and it has a very nice trigger action capability and hence you could go forward with manychat. Next let's talk about the cost structure, okay? So as I said we're going to use manychat and openai so I'm going to give the cost for that. If you're um looking for any other one then you can skip this part. Okay? So for manychat firstly you need a pro plan. So their pro plan is about fifteen dollars a month with a free trial. If you use my affiliate link, that's down below in the description. So you could test it with the free trial, and if it looks good, then you could go forward and purchase their pro plan, and it's just fifteen dollars a month, so not a big deal. Then next up, there would be some additional charges per message received or sent. So it's different for different countries. Um, but yeah, I will talk more about that here. next would be the cost of open ai 
So as you use the OpenAI API, that is the AI capabilities, you're going to get charged. So it depends on the text characters that are generated and both of these depend on volume and only this is a fixed price, right? Now let's talk about the second one in detail. So this is a screenshot from ManyChat's website and they have very clearly laid out how much does ManyChat for WhatsApp cost, right? So your first thousand conversations per month are free and then um, it is charged and pricing varies based on country. So I think you should go through this in detail and then click all the links and check it out. So what you could do is go to the link below and then when you scroll down in the FAQs, you will find this and then you can click on these links and then check it for your country. Right. So as I said, um, let's give a summary. So this would be $15 per month. These depend on um, usage and this also depends on the country you are in. And um, once you take a look, you will be able to calculate the cost. So I don't think for a medium sized business, it should be more than $50. I don't think. But yeah, if you have a lot of customer interactions, etc, etc, then it might go up to $70, $80 per month. Right now, let's go over to the human handover feature that I was talking about that the business owners love. So what is human handover? So it is basically that um, at a point, the bot stops and a human takes over the conversation, right? So for the user, it is the same interface, same everything, but on the back end, it shifts from a bot to a human. And this is called as a human handoff feature. Now in many chat, it is allowed and that's the best feature I think that it has of doing human handovers seamlessly and in other platforms it's a little bit um, tricky but many chat I love it they have a great interface a great dashboard to handle all of these human handoffs so this is something optional right so the human handoff feature is something optional that you might or might not have in your chatbot so for example if um, it is an e-commerce customer support chatbot and at a point you would want the user to do the payment on chat and confirm the order then what you could do is that when the conversation comes to a point that um, the user has to pay then we could do a human handoff we could trigger it then a human could come in do all the payments everything confirm the order and then pass it back to ai so that's how this works and in a few situations it's a really great feature to have right and i'm um, talking about the human handoff so you will have to um chat through the many chat interface you wouldn't be able to chat through whatsapp chats are not um, viewable on whatsapp you will have to log in into many chat and then continue the chat as a human okay so you could also have their mobile app and um, desktop is there for sure so i hope that is clear if you want to have it it's a great feature to have now let's talk about the operational considerations. So a few points that you have to look into. So firstly, please add balance to your many chat as well as open AI wallet, because if you remember point two as well as point three were based on usage. So you're not paying upfront. It's just based on volume. So I know it's upfront in a way, but it's not fixed, right? So you just um, put in a balance and then it keeps deducting from there. Next up is phone number. So a lot of people are confused on that, that whether or not they can use their uh, already existing number. So yes, you can use your already existing phone number, but it is recommended to have a new number for clarity and, you know, um, everything is clear, all the chats are new, etc. But if you want to use your previous one, you can do that as well. And um, even many chat provides phone numbers if you want to buy from them or else you could just buy it locally and then add it to many chat and um, yeah you can connect it to your existing whatsapp accounts and that's not an issue it's not needed that you need a brand new account but yeah that is recommended next is the verification so this is only required if you're doing outbound so outbound means the user didn't message you you are going and messaging a user so in that case you would require facebook verification but if you're just doing that the user messages you and you're replying back 
then you don't need this okay so these are a few operational considerations now let's come to the customization and implementation first up customization so since it is ai it is highly customizable nothing is fixed so you could add in your own prompt your own knowledge base and everything so like if you wanted to respond in a certain way you know follow a certain tone then we can prompt it to the ai model while training it and you could add all the knowledge that you want the bot to have and as i said it is highly customizable that is not an issue next is the implementation so there are two ways one that you outsource it second that you learn and build it so the second option takes time but a lot of people prefer that so in case you want to go with this then there are a lot of great whatsapp tutorials on how to um set this up so it's on youtube you can look for whatsapp ai chatbots and you would see uh, pretty different um tutorials that you could follow and have an ai chatbot up for you now for the ones that are looking for quality and want to save their time learning and building it then you could go forward and outsource it so you could either have a freelancer or an agency so for agency you might go with an ai automation agency for a freelancer you could go with um a freelancer that has capabilities in ManyChat as well as OpenAI API, right? So those are the two criteria. If your freelancer follows that, then you can give it to them and they can build it out for you. And if you want to work with me, then check out the description below and you will find all the details and we could move forward from there. For a limited time offer, I'm also giving free consultations. So like if you have um, an idea that you want to discuss with me of whether or not it's feasible enough, then we could also do that. Again, all the details in the description below. Don't forget to check it out. Okay, so I hope you have a great idea of what WhatsApp AI chatbots are, um, how you can use it and you know, what's the tech stack, how to implement it, etc, etc. And um, yeah, don't forget to check out the description below for the affiliate link for ManyChat. Um, you know, we both get perks as you get a free trial and I get a commission. Secondly, also check it out if you're looking forward to outsourcing it. If you have any other questions regarding it, then put them down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a part two answering those questions for you. Okay. And yeah, thank you so much for watching it till the end and consider subscribing and liking the video. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.